starting with the relational model definition and its characteristics in this lecture we are going to talk about the formal definition of the relational models and how we can represent the attributes tables and the rows etc so relational model so the relational model of data is based on the concept of relation here by relation we mean that the tables or tabular form uh, form of the data, uh, data storage next we have a relation is a mathematical concept based on the idea of sets for example in a set we can have multiple elements same way in table we have multiple attributes last the strength of of the relation approach to data management comes from the formal foundation provided by the theory of relations so this theory has provided the concept of tables for data storage and it it was widely accepted by all the organization when it comes to picture or when it was uh, firstly used or uh, discussed so it was first proposed by dr e f cord of ibm in 1970 through one of his research paper and on the basis of this research paper he was also awarded by the uh, turing award and turing award is a one of the highest award of the computation means in computing we have the turing award turing allen turing mr allen turing was one of the greatest mathematician and who discovered a machine to decrypt the um, uh, messages during the second world war from the britain side and the turing award uh, turing award and turing machine was named uh, by his name and this is the biggest award in the computation so let's begin the lecture with in uh, informal definition that we have talked about uh, so now like the relation a table of values the relation may be thought of as a set of rows and relation may alternately alternatively be thought of as a set of columns okay we are uh, just taking the table like set of rows and set of columns and each row represent a fact that correspond to real world entity or relationship okay uh, each row is representing a particular record or particular uh, information for a particular object next each row has a value of an item or set of items that uniquely identify that row means for every row we must have a particular identification means uh, we cannot have the all the records of uh, multiple rows to be the uh, to be as same because we need to identify each and every row uniquely next some time row id or sequen sequential numbers are assigned to identify the row in the table for example if we are not having any attribute as a unique attribute we can have row id serial number sequential numbers for identification purpose next each column typically is called by the column name column header or attribute name okay we can use any of the name next come to the formal definition so a relation is defined in multiple ways so the most common notation that we are going to use in further lectures in uh, and you will find in many of the books is relation name bracket start then followed by the name of attribute then all the name of the attributes uh, in the bracket will be will comes under the the one bracket in comma separated format and relation here we have the relation r with attributes as a1 a2 up to an for example the customer is a relation with four attributes as customer id customer name address and phone number so here we are representing one table customer with four attributes okay so this is the simple representation because we are not um, going into the storage detail of the table we just need the name of the table inform uh, attributes of the table to handle the queries and to design the data uh, database next we have domain associated with each and every attribute by domain we mean that the uh, set of valid values for a particular attribute for example we can say that the customer id should be a number 
okay it cannot be a string so the domain of customer id is a number field with particular length suppose we can also limit the length uh, we need the customer id of four digit only or the five digit only so these type of domains mean set of rules can be employed over this field and these type of rules are known as a domain means set of valid values for a particular attribute next we can have the phone number must be of 10 digit we can also limit the uh, the, the characters for name or we can also uh, put any other type of constraint uh, like for a customer uh, the age limit can also be imposed means a should be greater than equal to 18 so these type of domains can be set for uh, for each every attribute of the table okay next we have the formal definitions or formal terms that we need to use informal term is for uh, is table but in formal terms we will uh, call it a relation columns are known as attribute domain and rows are known as tuples or records value in particular column is known as domain table definition is known as schema of a relation okay and we can check the schema of a relation using describe command desc command desc table name so uh, this command will give the schema of a uh, table of a relation next example for example we have a student table with attribute as name ssn here ssn means social security number or we can say a particular id assigned to uh, all the students home phone number address office phone age gpa etc and these are the tuples means each tuple is uniquely identified by ssn number means we need to identify each and uh, every student uniquely and for that we have uh, these un uh, unique ssn number okay so each user is having each student is having an associated unique ssn number next these uh, this is the relation name these are the attributes or the domain and a suppose i am uh, telling that the particular or the valid values are greater than 18 so this is the domain for this age we can say so this is the example of a relation how the things are managed next the characteristics of a relation so ordering of tuples in a relation we cannot consider the uh, order for a uh, table or we cannot restrict the order for a uh, order of tuples in a relation okay but we can we can have queries that can give the results in particular order suppose in ascending order of roll number descending order of their names like this we can uh, we can uh, we can opt the uh, order by command or we can have other, uh, other type of order uh, constraints for ordering the tuples but while entering the records in the relation we cannot impose any type of ordering same way we cannot have the ordering of we cannot impose the ordering of attributes in a relation because uh, we are taking that we are ordering the detail in uh, attributes in a particular order so for example we need the sequence number first next should be the name next should be the roll number next should be the stream next should be the address and so on but we cannot impose these things okay uh, same way for the ordering of rows we can also uh, have the results or the uh, output of query in any order of the attributes last we have the values in a tuple we can say that values or each field of the table should be uh, should contain an atom uh, atomic value by atomic means every field must have an individual value okay a special null value can be used to represent the value that are unknown means if we are not having any value for a particular field we can assign a null value to that particular field okay so these are the uh, characteristics for a relation we cannot impose any order on relation uh, rows we cannot impose any order on uh, attributes but yes we can have the order on the result sets means we cannot uh, impose during the implementation or insertion but we cannot uh, or, or we but we can order the results okay thank you